G'day guys, David here from Cryospa Canberra and I wanted to bring you this vlog. It has to do with cryosaunas and float tanks and to give you a little bit of a rundown on both of them. So let's get stuck straight in to why cryotherapy and float work and the difference between the two so you can make yourself an educated decision on what it is that you're going to choose for your alternative health. Let's get stuck in. Okay guys, so to give you a basic rundown, I ducked out there to float today. They were not happy with me doing some filming in their shop, but that's okay, I completely understand. If they have their own uh, reasons for that, that's perfectly fine. Now, float is one thing and cryo is another. I'll just put this up on the screen. This is a cryosauna. It does metabol metabolic <laughs> metabolism. It does sleep, anxiety, stress, depression, hormone regulation, weight loss, aches and pains, arthritic issues, inflammatory diseases and issues, chronic fatigue, adrenal fatigue, MS, uh, reboots the nervous system, releases feel-good endorphins, and helps regulate your hormones, helps with fertility, and a lot more. Then you look over this other side, we have float tanks, they help with magnesium, muscle relaxing, taking pressure off the spine as you're weightless. Uh, it helps with sleep. One hour of sleep in there is the equivalent of four hours. So if you need to catch up, check that out. Then there's also uh, advocation for it helping with things like fibromyalgia and some uh, arthritic issues. Anxiety, depression, and mental health disorders as well, such as ADHD. Now, cryotherapy versus float, they're two different businesses. They do do two different things. Uh, there are some fantastic float businesses around Canberra. So if you'd like to give it a go, I would highly recommend you go and check it out. Two hours out of your day to go and give yourself a little bit of pamper and relaxation. For those who don't have two hours, I think that's where cryotherapy, in my opinion, not being biased, but being a business owner and a busy father and trying to juggle life, I believe that cryotherapy is more suited for those who are busy individuals who want to reboot, who want to feel fresh, who want to be able to sleep a little bit better, knock inflammation out, and get a general cleanse of the entire body. Obviously, it helps with gut health issues and that as well. So incorporating cryotherapy and what we teach you here with cryo, the experience that we've created for the cryo sauna, you actually get so much value for money, it's not funny compared to any other cryotherapy business in Australia. But not only that, you're getting 15 minutes out of your day to get a plethora of benefits. And some of those benefits can last for a week, two weeks, or some people have never been back. One particular client had a sore shoulder for 10 years, I think it was actually. Uh, he only lasted two and a half minutes in the cry sauna, and wow, he hasn't been back to me. This was January 2018. We're now in end of January 2019. I haven't seen him back in here, and he still today emails me to say, I'm still shocked to see a 10-year-old injury now pain-free. It is quite a sensational experience. I hope that's given you enough information to make an educated guess on what it is that you think you want to do for your alternate health. If you have two hours in your day, roughly hour and a half in your day to go and float, go and do that by all means. If you only have 15 minutes, go and do cryotherapy. There you have it. That's about as much as I can surmise both businesses without having to go into the nitty gritties of them. But in my opinion, cryotherapy has more benefits. It's going to have more of an impact on the body initially. And with some of the great testimonies that we've had coming through, I believe you will see a massive increase in your health. So if you want to be a high performer, you want to do better in your sport, exercise or anything like that, come and try cryotherapy. It's not that hard. And I'm sure you would absolutely love to get the benefits afterwards. I'll contest people don't always like the cold when they're in there. I can't, I can't actually say that everyone loves the cold, but what I can tell you is they love the benefits. I've probably had close to hmm, 30 clients who have come to see me 
after not being in for a while and they said wow now I know now I know what it was that I was missing and it was the fact that I hadn't been deprived so those people understand how their body works they understand the difference between doing cryo and not doing cryo now it's up to you so if you want to know more or you like this video please give us a like give us that thumbs up subscribe to our channel and we look forward to bring you something else next week until then i'll see you on the next video